Hey, it's me, Ernest T. I'm back at you with another one, kicking on in on the whole hoopty special again. We're gonna be putting disc brakes on this dude, fish running up the exhaust out the hind end. So yeah, let's get after it, guys and gals. <laughs> That's right, guys. Y'all sit back. Oh, me and Mr. Jesse's gonna be tag teaming this deal today. Yeah, man, wearing it down. We're making old men out of us. Lord of mercy. We're that's getting right. up every time, grunting and growling. <laughs> you never know. We might even have a grape soda trip involved today. You, you dang right. That's how, that's a half to, man, or the project just ain't happening. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's hammer down. All right, guys, let's hammer on down into this project here. Uh, so first things first, you gotta take the old drums off and get the old bearings off, and the bearings were in rough shape on this thing anyways. Um, actually, one of the bearing races had, had broke off and was still stuck on the uh, spindle there. Uh, so Jesse is working on getting these drums pulled apart, and uh, we're both just kind of tag teaming everything as we can here. Uh, main thing is soak everything down WD-40 or some PB blaster or something because all the bolts are rusted on this stuff, so that way you can get all that stuff off air. But uh, after that, things start coming apart, and uh, then we start putting this kit on. All there. right, guys, so, old 55 is under the knife again. Again. That's right. <laughs> we ain't giving up on her. Jesse <laughs> is not letting up. Um, so, today's episode, we are installing the Speedway disc brake conversion on the front up here. Yeah, man. Um, so, it's very, very simple, ain't it? Yeah, the only drama we have was, or we're gonna have is that yep. hole right there. Yep, so you, you've got to either enlarge this hole or drill another hole in it because once you get the disc brakes on there, it actually has it spaced out just a little bit, actually about an eighth inch to be exact, uh, is how much of a difference there is. So yeah. anyways, all that is, is coming along good. We'll show you guys, you know, us taking this stuff apart. The drums were super easy to take off. Yeah. Um, Honestly, the biggest thing you gotta keep an eye on is this big bolt. Yeah, right that here. Got us in trouble right yeah. there. Yeah, this one tried to. I don't know if you guys can see it, if the camera will pick it up. Excuse me. Maybe threads are starting to get in bad shape on this one as it was coming out. Yeah, but, but luckily the threads inside the in there was pretty in pretty good shape. Pretty so, good shape. Yeah. Um, so again, this kit is really straightforward. Uh, let's see here. I got the instructions to it. So yeah, right here, here we go. All right, so there's your instructions that you get with it. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. So parts in the kit, pretty nice, pretty clean. All new flex hoses, all new bolts and hardware, new brake pads, all of it. And this is what the rotors look like right here. Pretty straightforward kit. I think it's like to get to get to the door was like four hundred sixty dollars. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But now you'll have some breaks. So uh when yeah. we were bleeding on these dudes <laughs> last weekend, show them that wheel cylinder down there. Yeah, I'll see right there it is. Yeah, they ain't no they ain't no stopping at the red light with that mug. <laughs> yeah, it was uh not good. You're just gonna keep on cruising. <laughs> <laughs> just to keep a cruising. Rather you like it or not, it'll happen. <laughs> Right. Well, while Jesse's working on that, we're tag teaming this deal. I'm working on the exhaust right now. Uh, I'll let you guys kind of see what's going on right there. Um, we coming along here. Uh, I've got it all leveled out, and we're going to start tacking stuff down and getting some good welds on it. And what I try, what I try to do is, is weld as much on the car as we possibly can, and uh, before we have to take it off. But uh, yeah, guys, it's coming right along here. Right. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, about that. All right, Hollywood. Advanced store. No, AutoZone. AutoZone. Yeah, no. Nah, Trip the number man. one. Heck of the man, <laughs> Golly. They ain't got the grape soda. Yeah, see, right there's the man. That's him right there. He's come over here to drink your grape soda is what he does. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> oh. 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 Let's see here. We need 
grease. Yeah, I'm gonna back at the back, ain't yeah. Sooner or later, we'll find what we need. Pretty you know. <laughs> oh. uh, Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Y'all having little old bitty ones. Yep. You reckon Lucas is any better? STP or Lucas? What? Extra heavy duty grease? There's too many options for this right now. Yeah. Man. <laughs> just just grease. grease. I'll tell you what you do. You just take them dang old spark plugs out and then that little hole, you just put a little hole around there. Just like Bobby Hunter said, it's just like it'd go boom, boom, just like that. We'll just That's get all purpose. Fine. All right, let's get it and go, man. Y'all use air, grease on everything. That's so all right. You guys been to the Jonesboro Armory yet? Well, I have. Oh my goodness, look who come out to the shop. Man. Somebody over here is jealous too. <laughs> Let's see this. Let me see this little thing. There it is, guys and gals. What do you think about this, Hannah? <laughs> well, it's the cutest thing I've ever been in this shop before. You got that right. You glad to be out here working on small hot rods? Alright, guys, there y'all go. Y'all got to see a little Loretta for the first time on YouTube's. <clears throat> While me and old Jesse working on this old hot rod here. Yeah. Jesse, let's get back on these brakes. Oh, tell them. We got to talk about this daggum grease situation. Here. I'm tired of grease, man. Jeez. Wayne, if you're watching this, your little dude works great. Really does. That is a. I'm going to have to buy me one of them. Grease gun, man. <laughs> we had a grease gun. We got to talk about that. <laughs> we had a grease gun explosion. Let me just walk y'all over here to the trash can real quick. Y'all see how that? That just, that's just a whole lot of nonsense. Yeah. This right here saved us getting it all over our hands. That yep. gun over there, yeah, we was covered in it. Yeah, that one gun's junk. I don't know what's going on there. All right, guys, so <laughs> that was a little bit of a situation there so anyways uh jesse's going to continue to work on getting the brakes hooked up while i'm underneath this thing welding on the exhaust so uh let's get to it all right jesse i think we just put the last weld yeah, on this man. exhaust for what we're going to do for now yes sir pretty proud of it man i've got stainless headers and now stainless exhaust mufflers and all so that's right heck yeah it's pretty stoked i've always wanted a set of stainless steel mufflers and honestly after having after buying that kit and everything i added it up i have about four hundred dollars i guess in all my man, stainless exhaust can't beat that. no man Golly, man, if you used to go to Borla or somewhere like that and have stainless steel on it, it'd be like two grand, man. Yeah, all day long. So, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. stoked. Magna flow exhaust. Yep. I'll drop a picture here in the video. Literally, guys, this tubing that we got here, this was eBay uh, two and a half inch stainless yeah. um, um, exhaust kit. Yeah, it was $209 to yeah. get to my doorstep. And we got a ton of material. Left. Yeah. We got yeah. a bunch left. And, and we do plan on continuing this over yeah. his rear end stuff. My plans is just to go over my rear end and just drop it and nose it down. Put some turn downs yeah, on. Yeah, and that's, that's the way I like it. 
Cool deal. Cool deal. So, but yeah, guys, this is looking good. Yeah. We'll go up here and look at the disc brakes, let you guys see that, and uh, we'll hammer down here. Yeah. All right, guys, let y'all see this here. Got the brakes on, kit turned out pretty nice. New flex hoses on it, all that looks good. Um, real nice banjo fitting and stuff on it right there. Oh yeah, so all this is looking good. It's time to double check, make sure you got these tight. And after that, it's time to bleed the brakes and then fire this bad boy up. So let's see what this old girl's gonna sound like here, here in a minute. Yeah, man. So coming down, Jesse. Yeah, man. Holy. Should stop good, should run good. Let's hope. Let's hope. Keep, <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. I think, hmm. Probably right around in there is good for me. All right, Jesse, fire this deal up. See what it sounds like. Alrighty guys, what I thought I would do is show like a before and after on sound wise. Uh, this right here is before we put mufflers on it. It definitely had a very stock engine sound to it or like a, uh, uh, as Jesse says, demolition derby car. And uh, we definitely want to fix that. So I'll let you guys hear this now. A lot better. Sound like a different motor, to be honest. It ain't right, man. It's amazing. You get just a little bit of pop on these things, man. <laughs> Game changer. Game changer. That's all right. Good Lord, man. What are you doing? I am, man. Using some of this race oil, get my beard all straightened out. It's all messed up on me. Dad. I understand. We we always do this, but guess what? You're the one that told me about this new sponsor that just come on board. Stiffy's Beard Shop. Exactly, man. Come on now. What am I doing? I had some on standby, and check this out, guys. Some real Johnson City special. You're going to have to get this on, dude. I'm telling you. Heck yeah, man. I'll do that. I'll get some of that ladies' man oil on there, and I'll be in good shape. You Come dang on. right, man. We'll pick a whole 10 mile an hour on the big end, dude. I'm telling you. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, guys. We're looking good now. Big shout out to Stiffy's Beard Shop. Jesse, man, Dude. we got disc brakes on it now. Man, today has been a freaking blessing, man. We kicked this old car in the high end, man. We It's been a good day, good day. Got exhaust, pretty much run for a long time. Eventually, we'll add to them, but right now, they're somewhat in their final spot. Disc brakes on it, that's what I'm really tickled about because... Here for long, I'll have disc on all four corners. This hot rod, and that's what I want. I'm, I'm, I am done with drums. <laughs> I've been around them too long, and I'm sick. There they of are, them. right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's the front half. The rear half will come off. We yeah. won't even have to swap out the rear half. The new rear end. Yeah, will have exactly. That on there. We're gonna make the whole darn thing disappear. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but anyways, guys, man, um, this has been one heck of a action-packed episode here of a lot of stuff going on. Uh, getting the exhaust run out on this thing, at least back there to the back tires and stuff now. Um, getting these disc brakes on there. 
Um, man, it was a lot of work. Yeah, uh, I mean, we, but, we steady at it. We what time we I got I got here at like nine forty six this morning. Yeah, and let's see here, it is. Two o'clock in the morning. Two fifteen. We've yeah. been kicking butt all day, which it's the weekend. We usually just kind of cruise. Yeah. You know what I mean. We ain't no hurry. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's been a good day. It really has. It's got- been a really good day. Um, we we hammered down hard. We got a lot of stuff done on it because guys, we've got a, this thing. We've been working hard on it so we can get this thing out of the shop so we can move it around and that sort of thing. It'd be and, somewhat dependable. Yeah. I can. You know, I got. I'm gonna take it to the house, put it under the carport and stuff, and I'm eventually gonna get me a little old shed to put it under until I get my actual shop built. So yep. it'll be in a dry somewhat, you know, until I get my rear end and new transmission, it'll be back up here and we'll make him swaps on that. So and I've got a I'm wanting to paint the bottom of the car too, this same black. Yeah. And uh but yeah, it's it's come along great now. So nice. it's Next video on this car, we'll be cruising the streets. That's yep. for sure. It's ready. <laughs> that's right, guys. So next <laughs> next episode on it, uh, next week, uh, we'll be doing some test driving. It's like we just ran out of time. Yeah. Uh, but, man, the amount of stuff we got done was amazing on this thing. Yeah, tell them to spill about the darn brake calipers, oh, man. Yeah. That was crazy. I Golly. Was... <laughs> um, so we had really a big problem with getting the brakes to bleed up here, and they wouldn't bleed. Yeah. And um, like it had a at funky all. pedal, like it, it, it didn't even make no sense. Yeah. It had a pedal, but it didn't. Yep. And this yeah. kit called for the bleeder. Um, uh, what would you call it? Bleeder nozzle, I guess. Yeah. And uh, the bleeder screw. Yeah, it had it great. pointed down, and that we set it up right. What the instructions showed. We done everything we're supposed to. It wouldn't bleed the brakes at all, would it? Nothing, man. Nothing. nothing. So what we ended up doing was is literally um putting the opposite side of caliper on yeah we're just, just flipping flipped. the sides so and guys if y'all on here and he's got a bell air and you get the speedway disc brake kit just go ahead and swap the sides yeah the right side goes on the left and the left side goes on the right yeah, it makes a lot of sense don't it yeah <laughs> but that, it works and that way it actually puts your um that that bleeder screw pointing upwards yeah and, that and way it, it gives it a good down gravity yeah you know what i mean and then it'll the actually line. work but golly um yeah we had to figure it out the hard way <laughs> yeah there's some time in that uh just to figure it out but anyways guys uh right now jesse's got his big tires on the front up here golly it's and, went from a well, had a rake like a pro street now it's got a rake looking like a gasser yeah. <laughs> the old hoopty special's been ever good everything <laughs> This thing's like a transformer in here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, um, uh, Jesse is going to be taking his other rims, getting them matched up with the same size tires what these are, and that way we can get everything matched up. But we had to put these up here because these are 15-inch rims, and the ones that did have up here were 14-inch, and they wouldn't work with his, yeah. with his disc. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, that's it for this one. Thank you know you, the ordeal. You know it. Like and share, like and share. Smack that subscribe button, turn that baby into gray. We'll be in the comments right there with you, and we'll all have a grand party. <laughs> That's it, guys. Appreciate you, and uh, you guys stay tuned. There's a lot more coming in this old hot rod. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to go over to KillMurrSports.com where we've got all kinds of merch over there and all kinds of high performance products as well. And definitely a big shout out to our sponsors and partners. Till next time, you guys have a good one.